Hey guys, what's up? Looks like today we got something in the mail from China. Whoa, it's even got a sticker made in China. Cool. So this is a induction heater. Uh, I think it's a ZVT is what it's called, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. But yeah, it was actually a pretty good price for this thing. I think it was eight, $8.50 on eBay. Um, I'll put the link down in the description if you're interested in getting one. But what it this does is uh, is an induction coil. So that's what this looks like. I guess these are chokes or whatever this is. I'm not sure exactly. Quality control pass sticker. Hmm, that means it works probably. All right, so this is the coil to it. So I'm guessing. This was all packed pretty good, actually. It came in a little pouch, so that wasn't all that great, but it made it just fine. Looks like nothing broke off. So, looks pretty interesting, for sure. Um, so, this coil here, I'm guessing, goes solders onto here like this. So, I guess we're going to have to break out the solder and iron and solder this up. I think the outputs are over here, too. So, you could connect it to there, but you'd have to bend it, maybe. Well, I guess you could fit it in there somehow. But I think it'd be better to go straight to here, solder them up for a good connection, because that's right where the capacitors connect, straight to there. So that would be a perfect place to uh, solder this baby up, and now let's see if it works. So I'm going to break out the soldering gun iron, and we'll solder that up. All right, so we broke out the soldering iron here. Let's turn it on. There we go. I don't know what temperature I need. I don't know, 550 is probably fine. And we'll add some solder to here. Here and here. And then we'll put the coil on. There it goes. So there's one blob right there. Put another blob right here. And that's the other blob right there. So looking pretty good. So let's try to get the coil on. Alright, let's see if we can solder this coil on here. I don't think it really matters which way it goes, so. Okay, so one of them's on. Pretty good, I think. And that's it. And that's how it works. I had to crank up the iron a little bit to get hot enough because there's so much metal to to uh, to solder. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. I think coils to be straight with the board looks good. So now we need to connect some power to it right here and it should be ready to go. Awesome. All right guys, so I have a battery laying around from a hybrid Toyota uh, battery uh, module. So we'll use this as the, um, to power this little guy. Okay, so the battery is 7.5 volts. All right guys, so I got everything connected. Got the positive going through an amp meter here, going to the the induction heater, and then I got this negative that I just need to connect there and should start working. Let's see how it does. All right, so let's connect this thing and see if it'll fire up. Okay, something turned on. And we got a little light that is glowing right there. That's nice. So I guess it's running right now. It's 826 milliamps is drawing. Well, let's put something in there and see. Well, I do have this thing just for testing. Let's see. Yep, it's definitely working. Oh, man, that's already warm just sticking it in there for a second. One, two three wow impressive 
warms up real fast. It's actually taut. All right, let's get something a little bit bigger with the handle. Okay, so I got a screwdriver. I'm gonna put it in there. Let's see what happens. Okay, two amps at about 7.2 volts. So what are we talking about, 15 watts? That's not very much power, so it's probably not gonna heat very fast. But it probably will heat. Can't tell. I can smell it. It's definitely hot. All right, let me see if I find something thinner. Okay, guys, we found something really thin. Thin wire. Let's see how she does. I'm gonna put it right in there. And let's see if it'll warm up to red. Amperage went up a little bit. It might not even warm it to red. It might not be enough voltage here. Because we're only talking about what? 10 watts or something? 10 Nine? watts? That's not enough probably to make that thing red. Even though it's thin. Yeah, it's just crispy looking. But it ain't red. So we probably need to get this thing closer to 12 volts. Right now we're only at 7. So let's see what happens if we get like 14, 15 volts. I think this thing can go to 15 volts. So it says 12 volts on there. I wonder if it'll take 15 volts without destroying itself. Okay, so we got two batteries now in series, so that should give us about 15 volts almost. So let's see if this thing will run 15 volts. I'm about to connect it. Three, two, one, boom. Yep, it's running. Oh, and it's drawing a lot more power too. Look at that. Hopefully it's not gonna overheat. Okay, let's put this wire in there right quick. See what happens. Oh yeah, we got a lot more interaction. Oh yeah, it goes instantly red now. Instantly red. Look at that. Instantly red. Awesome. That is so cool. It's so pretty. Let's see. Put the water. Yeah, it had a little psh moment. <laughs> Wow, that is so quick. I guess this thing's so thin. It makes sense. All right, guys. So this thing, just using it for 30 seconds, got pretty hot already. I don't know if it's just from the heat of this or or what, but it's hot. Chokes are warm. Let's see the capacitors. Capacitors are. They're pretty cool, actually. Not that warm. Oh, yeah, for some reason, though, this coil is warm. Hot warm. Maybe not hot, but definitely warm. So, I don't know how long you could use it continuously, but I might be pumping too much voltage in it. Because it is 12 volts. I'm a couple of volts over that. So it's probably working a little bit harder than it should be. Anyways, this is a pretty cool thing. Let's see if we can find something else to melt. Or to get hot. It's 1.2 amps. Oh, it goes to four amps. It's pretty hot. It's probably gonna overheat too fast. Oh, I can smell the screwdriver. So it's definitely heating up. Probably gonna take it a little while though to heat it up. I don't think it's gonna glow red though. Actually, it might after a while. Amperage is steady. It's probably too much for this thing though. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's see. Can't really tell that it changed color or anything from the heat too much. Let's put it in this cup, see what happens. Oh yeah. That's definitely hot. It's sizzling in the water so yeah it's capable of some stuff for sure maybe not in anything serious but small stuff for sure it's definitely a neat little toy I would think the the what you could use it for would be very limited compared to a larger one like a thousand watts this is about 150 watt rated but you know I don't know how good it'll last at that watts it'll probably be pretty good continuously maybe 50 watts 80 or something but more than that I don't think it'll do all that great 
But yeah, on 7 volts, it's not even going to warm up this bear. Uh, not going to make this thin wire glow. Of course, it's only drawing that much, too. So We're talking about like 16, 18 watts here of power. But anyways, I can smell it. It's definitely hot. I put it in there. I don't know if you heard that little thing. So, yeah. Pretty neat thing for sure. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, quite a few uses you can do with this. I got a few ideas already. So, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. For uh, $8.50, pretty amazing. But, yeah. Cool. Actually, a side note. Um... I've heard that if you don't have the correct power to this, it won't work right, or you could blow it up, the transistor. So make sure that you run it off a battery or a very, uh, you know, good start voltage, uh, amperage kind of power supply if you're going to use a power supply. So make sure the amperage is uh, immediate to the, to the module here or it's not going to work. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.